The new movie 65 was not a bad movie at all, it was actually good, and quite above decent for a mid-budget film. I don't know where the bad reviews come from, they might have not even seen the movie. It was an on-point survival sci-fi movie with quite a few scary dinosaurs and other cretaceous reptiles that might have raised a few eyebrows for their design. But let's not forget that we don't really know about all the species diversity during that time on the planet and there might as well be such creatures running about the Cretaceous Earth that we haven't discovered yet in fossils or they might have never been fossilized in the first place. The movie was tightly fit for a limited storyline it had some tragic elements as well as bringing back the scary in dinosaurs and also a lot of action. But here in this video, we will discuss the creatures that were seen in it. Spoilers alert. So let's get into it. Well, we won't really tell the gist of the story or anything that might spoil the storyline, just the creatures that were seen in the movie. And let's start with the eel-like aquatic animal. This one was seen in the trailer as well. And it seems to be a carnivore or at least a scavenger that lurks in the murky lakes and swamps of Earth 65 million years in the past. It could be a small mosasaur species, maybe a Panoneosaurus, judging by the length which would be around 15 to 20 feet long or 5 to 6 meters. Then there is also a small raptor that emerged and attacked Captain Mills, oops, spoiler, in one of the scenes and Koa in another. This one seems to be a raptor species judging by its size and the extra large claw that all the Dromaeosauruses all have. The exact species is unknown but it could very well be a pyroraptor or an atrociraptor and it did not have feathers. As we have discussed in the earlier video about the, the dinosaurs that would be seen in this movie, there were a group of flying pterosaurs that were now seen more in detail. These had enlarged crests on their heads with long beaks and a size that was similar to that of a grown man but with 15 feet or almost 5 meter wingspans. These off the top of my head, their appearance would resemble the Tupuxuara, a species of pterodactyls. And yes, there was the unseen killer pterosaur which by the looks of it would have been either a large pteranodon preying on the smaller Tupuxuaras or a member of the Azarchidae group of pterosaurs that dominated skies of the late Cretaceous. Species of the Azarchidae would include the Quetzalcoatlus which is one of the largest flying creatures ever known. There is one scene that showcased a dinosaur that at first looked like a cute baby T-Rex stuck in a tar pit, but on closer inspection, it was quadrupedal and aside from its extra large head, this novel dinosaur design also had plates and spikes on its spinal column, as well as a flat but bobbed tail. The species is as said, novel and non-existent in the fossil records. Immediately after that, the next species of dinosaurs were again a pack of raptors on the hunt and it was their prey. And these are the famed velociraptors, not amplified in size like the ones in the Jurassic movies but more realistic, the size of large turkeys. The movie makers did not design them as feathered animals but they only had small quills. The raptor designs were more in line with those of the early 2000s. So in the TV spots and the trailers, we get to see carnivorous reptiles that resemble the Nothosaurus. These quadrupedal pack hunters were not a species of Nothosaurus at all, neither were they dinosaurs at all, since their squatting legs placed them in another reptile group called the Squamata, which includes lizards and crocodiliforms. These deadly creatures around 3 to 4 meters or 10 to 13 feet long would have been an undiscovered species related to the Caprosuchus, which were slim, long-legged cousins of crocs. Anyway, next dinosaur, just as in the prologue of the Jurassic World Dominion movie, where we get to see the oviraptor inside a cave, here in this movie we will also get the same thing, an oviraptor in a cave, but it won't be the cute egg thief that you might presume. This creature like the other animals in the kill or be killed Cretaceous world is also a deadly predator. The egg thief here is portrayed as a hunter in the dark and it challenges the theories of many paleontologists, as should be the case in science. So anyway, I've seen a review that stated that there were three tyrannosaurs in one of the final acts or scenes of the movie. I guess they don't know what dinosaurs are. Lol, lmao. There were indeed a gigantic pair of tyrannosaur species, either one of the three subspecies, the Rex, Imperator or Regina. They were designed to look badass right from the start like the V-Rexes, with those tiny arms and massive jaws with protruding teeth and a skin texture similar to the armored V-Rexes of King Kong 2005, over 12 meters or 40 feet long. 
and 4 meters or 13 feet tall, and yes, they hunted in pairs as a duo of unchallengeable killers. And lastly, as we were about to come to a close, the creature that we discussed in our earlier video, the quadrupedal apex carnivore, finally made an appearance. It was the same one seen outside the cave in the rain. This wasn't, I repeat, this creature wasn't a T-Rex. It was quadrupedal in posture with long forelimbs and had an armored scaly skin and a deadly skull with a terrifying jaw full of conical teeth. My best bet would put this animal in the Pseudosuchan group of reptiles, cousin of crocodiles but had longer legs. And I would say it resembles a Razanan Drangobe, but the timeline is way off. The Razanan Drangobe was in the Jurassic or the early Cretaceous, and this was 65 million years ago. So it might have been an undiscovered species of a Pseudosuchan related to the Razanan Drangobe, probably an evolved descendant of the Delhi animal. As I said earlier, the full biodiversity of animals present 65 million years ago is still a big mystery. Remember, just a fraction of a percentage would have been fossilized and many species would never have been fossilized in the first place, so we would never know that they existed at all. So the movie took a jump into the unknown, creating their own deadly reptiles that might have a probability of existing, since there were creatures like them, although not exactly in timeline, morphology or size. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe, but most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.